size Super Tender Boy, and here I am for another little contraption video, which I haven't done in like forever. But anyway, this one's multiplayer, so I'm on my creative server right now, and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate custom achievements in vanilla Minecraft, which I'm rather excited to show with my friend Royal Armadillo and the C White Bots. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so we all have our respective weapons and everything, and so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go into scoreboard, players, and then when you do that, it just, nope, I put scoreboard board. Alright, scoreboard players, and then what we'll want to do is I'm going to set my, um, my player... Hold on. Oh. I gotta put my name first. Tendo Boy. Player kill count. And I'm gonna set that to uh, 9. And so, that seems useless right now. But uh, that's gonna be important here in a second. Uh, so, if you guys just wanna click the dual player 1 or 2 thing buttons, that would be great. I'm kind of stuck back here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you can thank you, jump through the ender chest. Anyway, so here we have a royal armadillo just, you know, innocently in the corner. And if I just go ahead and kill him, it says, You have just earned the achievement murderer. And see, Wipeout, what does it say in your chat? It says, um, Another player has just earned the achievement murderer. And so, if, I hover my, uh, if I hover my mouse over it, it's a, it says, he killed 10 players. Yep, so if you hover over it, it says kill 10 players. It has the description of the achievement. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set my death count to 499. 499 deaths. And see why, Pite, you just want to go ahead and kill me? Oh, I'm not. I, I, whoops, I'm not, I'm not in the right mode. Sorry. Now kill me. Alright, and so it says, you have just earned the achievement Death Schmith, which is an achievement that you get after, hold on, after you die a total of 500 times in one world. So it's supposed to be like, you don't really care about death at that point. Um, but yeah, you can do all kinds of custom achievements. Uh, you can name them anything, you can test for a bunch of different stuff, which is limited right now in 1.7, because... You can't test for that many things. In 1.8, there you can uh, test for like uh, how many enemies you've killed or how many times you've been killed by a certain enemy. But anyway, this is all the redstone for it. Uh oh. I like chickens. So this is all the redstone for it. Um. Let's see. Here, let me fix this. And we'll do 1.5. Okay, and then I can just copy this command and put it in here. So, what's going on right here is this is um, testing for any players that have a death count of minimum of 500 and a maximum of, or like just a regular score of 500. And if that's true, that it will tell that player that has that score, it will tell them that you have just earned the achievement Death Schmaff, and then we have Hover Event, Action, and then Die a Total of 500 Times in One World. I'll have all these commands in the description so you can uh, edit them and make your own custom commands, which will be great because I can't wait to see what you guys can do with it. Anyway, and then this one, what it's doing is it's testing for a uh, score player kill count, uh, which is how many times they've killed a player, or just any players, how many kills they have. The minimum of 10 and a maximum of 10. And then if so, it does the same thing. It tells that player that has that score, you have just earned the achievement, but it tells everyone else uh, that 
another player has just earned the achievement, which is just uh, selecting anyone that doesn't have that score. Um, but yeah, you can put, but, uh, sorry. <laughs> One thing you'll have to keep in mind is before you do this, you have to, um, you have to add these two objectives, uh, kills and deaths, which they can be named anything, but they need to be type player kill count and player death count if you want to do those two different types of achievements. Now, if you couldn't tell, this is kind of sad that I can't actually make it show up in the achievements uh, section right here. And it doesn't give you a little icon up in the corner here, which is kind of sad, but honestly, there'd really be no reason that Mojang would, I mean, make that able, because that's not really a, an effect or anything, that's something coded directly into the game and can't really be edited at this point and I highly doubt it can be but you know that's the closest we'll get and I'm probably gonna use it for my adventure map or uh, probably my next little contraption video which I have a very special idea for but yeah you can make it so that you can get achievements for pretty much anything but yeah I can't wait to see what you guys can do with it um, and I think that's about it for this video Thank you for watching!